My name is Elliot Mitchell, and I'm a PhD student at Columbia's Department of Biomedical Informatics, and I'm excited to share this case study with you. The potential of conversational AI, sometimes referred to as conversational agents or chatbots, has been touted since the 60s. They've been praised in particular for their potential as personal assistants or virtual counselors, building rapport with users in a longitudinal relationship. However, as many recent papers at CHI have pointed out, this potential is far from fulfilled. There's a need for design approaches to build better chatbots, and one such approach is Wizard of Oz prototyping. With Wizard of Oz, a human operator, or wizard, works behind the scenes to create the illusion of a fully functioning system. This can help refine the design before implementation, which could sometimes be costly or require the development of more advanced AI or machine learning approaches. However, Wizard of Oz is typically used in a lab setting, which we argue is inadequate for chatbots with longitudinal interactions, for example, health coaching or behavior change. Our aim was to adapt the Wizard of Oz approach to field and deployment studies, where user interactions could be studied over the course of days or weeks. Our specific use case was to design a chatbot health coach for individuals with type 2 diabetes. We designed a scripted, rule-based chatbot based on a clinical protocol for health goal setting called Brief Action Planning. Importantly, this protocol was designed for human-human conversations, primarily in person. We also included functionality to answer diabetes-related questions. Some of our design questions included how long conversations should be, whether dialogues would need to be shortened, to what extent users would engage, and whether they would ask questions outside of scripted conversations. To facilitate Wizard of Oz in the wild, we implemented a quick and dirty SMS messaging proxy in Twilio Studio, which needed only a few dozen lines of code. This allowed users and wizards to use their personal phones and phone numbers while maintaining anonymity and recording a centralized log of conversations. We identified the following challenges for which we describe our initial solutions and discuss lessons learned from our pilot study with 13 individuals with type 2 diabetes. The first challenge was the expectation of 24-7 availability of the chatbot. The second challenge was a single wizard managing conversations with multiple users. And the third was imitating the quick responses of a chatbot. For the first challenge, we tried scheduling one-hour windows with users for daily conversations at the outset, and had Twilio send automatic replies when the wizard was not available. In practice, we found that conversations usually spilled outside of the schedule times, and so there's a need for more sophisticated scheduling approaches. For the second challenge, we staggered the scheduled windows with each user, and also integrated with a Trello dashboard to track multiple conversations. In practice, we found that one wizard, a PhD student, was able to handle up to five participants at a time while completing other work, which suggests feasibility for small to medium scale studies, but not larger ones. Third, we used a keyboard shortcut app for wizards, configured with the messages the chatbot would send. We found that the wizard responded with a median delay of less than one minute, while users took a median of 2.4 minutes to respond, sometimes quite a bit more. While relatively quick, these responses were still not as fast as the chatbot would be. Full results uh, came out in CSCW in April, but we want to highlight some of the findings from the iterative design stage. Uh, in particular, in addition to the lessons learned, the study resulted in a number of design insights. And importantly, many of these insights would not have surfaced uh, with Wizard of Oz in the lab. For example, we found that we needed to substantially shorten the script in order for users to finish the conversational flow on the same day it was started. And users almost never initiated conversations outside of uh, the daily interactions with the chatbot, meaning the question and answering functionality could be descoped from the final version of the chatbot. We hope that this case study presents the rationale and initial steps toward adapting the success of Wizard of Oz to deployment and field studies for researchers to build off of in the future. Thank you to the collaborators on this work, members of Lena Mamakina's lab, and our funding sources. I look forward to taking your questions.